Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to The Walking Dead. <clears throat> we are on episode 5. Now, what I'm about to do in this episode, it's not different than what I've done in the previous episodes, but you need to understand something. I've been trying to record this episode for almost a month now. But every single time I try, either the audio is messed up, I couldn't save one part, so I had to do it over again. You know, it, it gets annoying. And you can't restart the episode, so it's not like, if I could just restart the episode, we cool. No, I, I have to literally make a new file or make a new game save point and then go straight to the episode and do it like that no so now i'm just doing like this well i'm gonna go straight to the episode and i'm just gonna do default decisions so whatever we start with in episode five is what we dealing with because i'm I, I need this done there's four more seasons i still gotta do so i'm doing this here default settings boom so whatever happens here happens here cool all right so without further ado let's waste no more time let's get into this We going straight into this. <sighs> I've been trying to complete this the whole time. I have yet to get to the ending of the episode, so I have yet to get to the sad part of the episode, which I know is gonna happen, so previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Wait, where are my subtitles? Where are my subtitles? Why the hell is this all the way out of damn? What the hell? The hell is that all the way out of damn 10? Thank you for my subtitles. Are we good? I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here, Clem. Want some uh, batteries? I want to find my parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. You're not thinking of going after her alone, are you? I hope you find her, but you're gonna have to do it without us. I don't know why you're looking over here, Lee. Uh, maybe it's best that I stayed here. I don't want to go where I'm not wanted. All right, so you saw what we what we walking into. So Clementine has a hoodie. That's I mean that's that's kind of small sided, but the big thing is we're doing this alone. So I know when I'm with other people, people have helped me cut my my hand off. So now that I'm alone, am I cutting my own hand off? Like what? What are we doing here? So it's gonna be interesting doing this dolo. Which I'm cool with. I'm always do my best work when I'm alone. So let's get it. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are, are you all right? Where are you? Burning, you son of a bitch! Holy, holy! <laughs> got your time. In case you haven't figured it out yet, this is Vernon Clementine's body. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Smart. I guess if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. 
We in this dolo. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Just hold on, Clementine. Coming for you. This should be interesting. So we need to find our way out of here. Let's see what's in see what's in these cabinets though. Not in that one. What's in this one? Let me take that. Looks like a contact. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Surgical supplies. Let's open this cabinet. Same thing in this one. Nope. All right. Uh, let's look at the surgical supplies. Right. Surgical supplies. Not not to take. Not not to use. All right. Uh, so what's this way? And I'm acting like I never been before, but hey, that's what it is. Open it. I'm fucking out of here. Oh no, I'm going I'm going black. I'm going black. Uh oh. I'm going black. That bite. It's making me weak. Okay, now I just went. I KO'd Dolo. I just wake up by myself. I guess I do. That sucks. Do it. So I have a choice. Okay, so I can. Okay, so I would have to do it myself. <clears throat> Screw it. Let's do this. Act like we've been in before. Oh God. Three. Just take my time. This is gonna hurt. All right, let's do it. I. Keep going, big homie. I it's almost over. It's all oh god. Come on. Hey. Hey. 
Come on, someone's over. Damn, like I'm about to fade again. Yep. Damn, doing this by yourself is crazy. You're really dolo. Got much of a choice. Okay, gotta get out of here. All right. Let's go. Here we go. That hurt. It didn't hurt before. Why the hell it hurt now? And I was doing it one arm at the same time, so. Here we go. All right, here we go. You gone? Oh God. We good, we good. Come on, keep going. Remember, you the one arm gangster. Can't nobody tell you differently. Shit. Whoa. You gone. Excuse me. Keep going. All right. Did it with one arm. We're going to have to save a little girl with one arm. He's really doing a solo. I did not think they would. What was the choice? Damn. What's the new the choice as to why do it solo? Or how did it become that way? Thousands of them. We need to figure out a way to get down and somehow across town. Maybe head back towards the mansion and go after her from there. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. We'll have much to work with. Look at this bell tower. It's a bell tower, like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. Wait, you, you would you would you make me jump that? Would you allow me to jump that? No way. It's higher than this room for starters. I'm about to say, like, would they really let me jump that by myself? Alright, let's see if we have anything of use over here. Oh, we got a ladder. Let me get that. To the bell tower we go. Damn it! <laughs> Mm. 
We go, we go. Okay, Lee. Now is not the time to fall on your fucking face again. We got this. You the one armed gangster, remember that. We does this. Here you go. Who's there? Oh boy. Jump that. <laughs> Hit him right in the head. Damn. That dude is tight. Right, pull that rope. Let's make some noise. Yeah, y'all hear it. To that sound perfect anything within that radius they'll hear it all right so now what mm. I think you have to jump god damn all right I got this. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. Let's do this. Couple steps back. And just go at it. Got it. We good. We good. We good. Time to go. We're good. Time to get back to the mansion. One arm gangster. Glock ready, Glock steady. What the hell? What the hell? Um. What the they fucked us. What? Who? It was Vernon. They were waiting for us and jumped us. They were armed and just... Fuck! Did they have Clementine? No, definitely not. She's not with you? She's with someone else. Her parents were in Savannah, and I think someone used that against her. Well, we're going after her, right? Yeah, of course. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. I was bitten. What? It was an accident. Oh, they didn't know. Small, stupid thing. But yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker. God, we would have gone with you. I lived through it, which is a start. And, well, I... I thought it might buy me some time. You know, get that bite off my body. Hopefully, whatever's going to happen takes longer. Oh. <sighs> Everything just. <sighs> yeah, I know. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just <laughs> did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. 
Kenny always wanted to beat his ass. He made me want to beat his yet. ass for a minute. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell? I'm just taking you precautions, I'm just girl. saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill. Here's some pills. Vernon, chill. Here's our fucking boat. This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault. Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Ben. <laughs> Whoa, Ben. No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am. And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! Let's talk about this later. But it looks like Kenny got a soft side now for Ben. Ha <laughs> ha! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. My man. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Oh me. What is it? What are you looking at? Oh crap. Front doors. Oh no no no! Oh, oh, wait. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Damn! Lee, help! Cut I'm coming! Your fucking arms off! There's got to be a knife or something in there. Hurry! Relax. Check that. Oh yeah. Let me get that real quick. Take your goddamn arms off! Relax. I'm here. <laughs> Fucking aim right. Get off. Let's go. Now what? Get ready to fight. Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. You said what? Sturdy my ass. Get up. Sturdy my go. ass, exactly. I want to work. What's up? The one arm gangster. What's up? Okay. Guys, help me with this. I'm here. I'm here. The one arm gangster strikes again. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. I'm ready. Glock ready. Glock steady. You know what I do. Who got this one? Who got him? There you go. Okay. I got one of them. Oh, I got one of them. Woo! Oh, that headshot. 
Oh, they coming. Oh, God. I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? I wasn't even done. I had one more shot. Left. Opening. Up. Oh, the attic. We out. Go! Up, 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 up. Let's go. Should be calm, cool, and collective up here for a quick bit. Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. Thank you for giving me a gun that has no bullets. I'm, I'm assuming. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm Damn. Sorry. So, no ideas then. Can't we fight our way back through the house? I've got a weapon. What else do we have? Not much. It'd be a goddamn mess going back down there. I'll go. We're no good to Clementine dead. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. Of course not. And you're warm. I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm Larry Parrott. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. That yeah. sick bastard. Yet. We need to start thinking about. Can't more wait to get my hands on him. Comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey. Look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Who Clementine you back with or right. without you. Because Excuse I you? Up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Not touching me. Do you understand that? You feel me? You know exactly what to do if I turn it. That's enough. Do you hear me? You did? You might become one of them. You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? I don't know who the hell, boy. I don't know who you raising your voice at. Ah! I'm, I'm confused. You remember the last time we danced? You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's huh. on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? Let's find no. out. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Fuck it. Let's get it. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. 
Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. My man. My fault, big homie. My fault, big Sorry. dog. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. We've had our problems, but you're still my guy. You're still my man, a hundred grand, you feel me? Don't think I still won't dust your ass if I need to. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. They probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. Yeah. I was. I was. The fucking thing. It happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just wait. Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So you get this guy. What do you think? You make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. Rose got enough of it. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? Gotta play devil's advocate, though. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I'm the one armed gangster. But I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? Yeah, hey, we'll support him. Yeah, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. First time for everything. He did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death. And it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. That's all you did? Be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. <sighs> that uh, feeling any better? Still feels recently chopped. Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it? Did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. This man's been through a lot. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Take it easy on him, please. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way.
I want to fight him sometimes, but this is my guy, man. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? We've been through too much, man. The day I met him, I thought this guy was a pretty big piece of shit. Has much changed? Yeah, it did. My family's gone. But I know I could feel even more alone. I'm sorry for any pain I caused, sir. for her to It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little pain. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. I'll take a swig. Let me get some of that. I've been through enough. Uh, a little bit of that. A little bit of that, whatever that is. Don Perignon. <laughs> the hell's stressing you, girl? I'm My man, you, you ain't hit that right? Good job. No walkers. Things are looking up. Well, we got a pathway. We're finally, finally making moves. Keep a goddamn eye out. And from here, we will cut it. We'll cut it right here. And we'll go on to part two next. So until then, peace, love, want it. Hear it?